And welcome to the continuation of our topic on one linear one quadratic equation uh, let me first apologize i observed that in the last uh, example that's uh, number two the last video i observed that my uh, my microphone uh, was not really that steady so there was some sort of uh, noise on the ground so trying to actually make that better in this uh, video so let's continue we have solved number one and number two and i just want to point out you know some in that category that may not be difficult for you so having solved number one having solved number two you should be able to solve number three so try that on your own and then the only adjustment you have to do here is that you have x minus y equals to two just simply say x equals to two plus y and it becomes something like this it becomes something like this so you can put two plus y for x in your equation one so that will give you uh you know a lead in solving that the same thing here so you can simply say 3x okay bring a minus y first it will become plus y equals to 2 so if you want to do it that way and then you can now say y equals to 2 minus 3x so it means that you are going to put uh, 2 minus 3x for y in your equation 1 and that will give you the lead in solving that so same thing here you substitute 2x minus 3 for y in this equation 1 so those are the categories of questions you should be able to solve with this here your y will be equals to 3 minus 2x and then you substitute it as y in equation one the same thing here you can do uh um 2x equals 3 plus y then y equals 2x minus 3 so your y here will be 2x minus 3 to be substituted uh, into equation uh, one so all you just have to do when you have uh, stuff like this in as much one of the uh, uh, variable as a coefficient of one or minus one like y here has minus one as its coefficient so you can always what make it the subject of formula in the equation two or the linear parts and then you substitute it in the quadratic uh, um, equation so um the only one i would want to consider different is this uh, number eight and number nine and that's why i will be solving those two with you to round off this uh, topic one linear one quadratic simultaneous equation so let's solve number eight in this uh, video okay so we have uh, x number eight x raised to power two minus 3y square equals 13 and then we have 2x plus 3y equals 4 so let's call this equation 1 okay and call this equation 2 as usual okay let's rewrite that equation 1 so I can now take from equation 2, you have seen that our focus is still to make either x or y the subject formula because this still remains the linear aspect of this simultaneous equation. This is still the quadratic aspect because of the power of the variable there. So from equation 2 where we have 2x plus 3y equals to 4, I can simply say 2x equals uh, 4 minus 3y okay and then my x equals 4 minus 3y over 2 so as it is here we substitute okay 4 minus 3y over 2 for x in equation 1 so let's follow that up equation one state that x square minus 3y okay 
square equals 13 so we substitute 4 minus 3y over 2 for x so that means that this will be 4 minus 3y over 2 square that's for x square minus 3y square equals 13 and then we can say 4 minus 3y square what this means is 2 square we separate it on them 3y square okay let's put this uh over 1 and then we have equals to 13 so and then i can say expanding what i have up there i can say that's 4 expanding this okay we are expanding this now so that will be 4 minus 3y okay let me write it out minus 3y over 4 which is 2 square that is here minus 3y square over 1 equals to 13 and then we can say we have 16 minus 12y minus 12y plus 9y square over 4 minus 3y square over 1 equals to 13 16 minus 24y plus 9y square all over 4 minus 3y square over 1 equals to 13. And then we can find the SCM. SCM will be 4. 4 in 4 is 1. So 1 times everything here will give us 16 minus 24y plus 9y square. And then one year in four will give us four four times minus three y square will give us minus 12 y square then equals 13. let's put this over one so that we can uh, cross multiply and then we have 16 minus 24 y so we now have plus 9 y square minus 12 y square that will give us minus 3y square. Then we have 4 times 13 on the other side. What I did here is cross multiply. Why is this defined? I cross multiply. So I can now say I have um, uh, 16 minus 24y minus 3y square equals. So if we multiply that. That will give us 52 and then we can retain the 52 that is here and move every other thing down so when we move this okay we move this to the other side we move it to the other side crossing that equal sign that will be 3y square plus 24y okay plus 52 that is there before then minus 16 equals zero and then we can say 3y square plus 24y okay and then we subtract a uh, 16 from here that will be plus 36 yeah plus 36 equals to zero we can factorize out three to make this you know smaller numbers so that uh, this will now be 12 and then equals to zero divide both side by three divide both side by three this cancel this so we have y square plus eight y plus twelve equals to zero if we factorize out this we can use six times two for twelve and six plus two for eight that's y square plus six y plus two y plus twelve i'm writing this directly this time around so we have y, y plus 6, we have plus 2, y plus 6 equals 0. y plus 6 is common, then we have y plus 2 equals 0, y plus 6 equals 0, or y plus 2 equals to 0, and then we can say y equals to minus 6, or y equals to minus 2. So recall the value of our x, recall 
that our x is equals uh i have to check that again so x is 4 minus 3y over 2 4 minus 3y over 2 when y equals minus 6 x equals 4 minus 3 okay bracket minus 6 over 2 x equals to 4 plus 18 over 2 x equals 22 over 2 equals to 11 so and then we can write this according to the coordinate x y equals x is 11 and y is minus 6 so you can also say when okay y equals minus 2 our x equals 4 minus 3y over 2 and that will now be x equals 4 minus 3 bracket minus 2 over 2 x equals 4 plus 6 over 2 and then we can say x equals to 10 over 2 equals to 5 therefore we have our x comma y coordinate equals x is 5 y is minus 2 therefore the solutions solutions are okay 11 comma minus 6 and 5 minus 2 okay in this video i want to do something special uh what happens when you are doubting your answer like you want to actually cross check cross checking is not part okay of the work that the examiner wants to mark you are the one that just want to cross check perhaps you are doubting if the values you have gotten for x and y will actually satisfy the uh equation so let's go let's use our uh, equation 2 to cross check which is 2x plus 3y equals to 4 2x plus 3y equals to 4 so 2x plus 3y equals to 4 the first equation the first solution first solution which says 11 comma minus 6 so you say put x equals to 11 y equals to minus 6 so we want to see if we insert that here if the equation will be balanced so we have 2x plus 3y equals to 4 that's 2 brackets 11 plus 3 brackets uh, minus 6 equals to 4 so this will be 22 minus 18 equals to 4 that's 4 equals to 4 so you can see that it's balanced the left hand side is equal to the right hand side so because it's balanced it means that the values we have gotten are actually correct so you can use the first uh, solution and stop there you just want to be sure if they are correct like i said it's not what the examiner wants to mark you are the one who has that extra time and you really just want to be sure that oh what i've done is actually correct but if you are very careful with your steps and you know that you have done a very beautiful job you may not have to do cross checking so you can still try to check with the second solution and see if it's actually correct on your own all right so having solved this uh, number eight i would like you to liken this to our number nine okay so if you know you have understood number eight now it means that you can try out number nine and that marks the end of this uh, topic if you have not subscribed to our channel please do so share this video with uh, people and um, do give me a thumbs up or comments uh, in the comment section. Bye for now.